All right, problem 80, we have the graph of f prime. The derivative of f is shown here, and we want to figure out which of these statements must be true. Okay, so statement one says that f has a relative minimum at x equals negative three. Okay, so let's first um, remember that there's going to be a relative minimum when a graph has, you know, a point, you know, very, at the very lowest, like something like this. And what happens is that the derivative goes from being negative to being positive. So there's a relative minimum when the derivative changes sign from negative to positive. So let's look at negative three. So at negative three over here, Let's break this into an interval. So negative three. You can see that on the left of negative three, the graph is below the x-axis, so it's negative. And after, it becomes positive. It stays positive all the way up to x equals two, so all the way to this point. So, the, so there actually is going to be a relative minimum at negative three because the graph changes its derivative from being negative to positive. So statement one is correct. Statement two, the graph of f has a point of inflection at x equals negative two. So remember that a point of inflection occurs when a graph goes from concave up to concave down. This would be like an inflection point. Or from concave down to concave up concave up. So the graph of f would have like an inflection point at about here. Now in terms of the derivative, like what does that mean? Well, the derivative changes from increasing to decreasing. So increasing to decreasing in this case, or from decreasing to increasing. So it changes its behavior. It doesn't change its sign, it changes behavior. So let's see if it changes its behavior at negative two. And negative two, we're about over here. And you can see that the graph of F prime is, is increasing all up to here. Increasing all the way up to zero. So there's not gonna be an inflection point at negative two because um, it's still increasing afterwards. It doesn't change its behavior. So statement two won't be correct. Statement three, the graph of F is concave down for X between zero and four. So remember our graph is concave down. We have you know, something looking like this. And how this relates from the derivative is that the derivative, say if these were tangent lines, the derivative F prime is decreasing. See, it's going from positive to zero to negative. So we wanna see if it's decreasing on this interval. So going from zero to four, which is over here. And you can see it is decreasing all along this, all along this interval, it is decreasing. It goes from being positive to being zero to being negative. So this is correct. So one and three are correct. So our answer would be E. All right, 81, we got water is pumped into a tank at a rate of 30 times one minus E to the negative 0.16 T gallons per minute, where T is the number of minutes since the pump was turned on. If the tank, if the tank contained 800 gallons of water when the pump was turned on, how much water to the nearest gallon is in the tank after 20 minutes? Okay, so what we can do is set up an integral. So it starts at 800. So the amount of the amount of gallons in the tank would be 800 plus the integral of the rate from zero to 20 because we're going all the way to 20. So we just have to integrate this. So we can just use technology. So let's go to our graphing calculator go to um, our home screen where we got the calculator. And here we would go to the calculus, numerical integral function. 
zero to 20. I'll make sure I plug this integral incorrectly. So 30 times one minus e to the negative 0.16t. I'll just use x to keep it simpler. We get 420, and then let's make sure we add 800 to this. So plus 800, and we get about 1220, 1220.14. So round it to the nearest gallon, it would be D, 1220 gallons. All right, 82. If f prime of x is equal to the square root of x to the fourth plus one plus x cubed minus three x, then f has a local maximum at x equals. So we want to, what we want to do is look at the graph of f prime. And remember, a maximum occurs. That's, this could be like a local max. When the derivative goes from being positive to being negative. So we'll look at this graph and let's see at what point, if it, there's a point, well, there should be, we'll, at what point it will go from being positive to being negative. So let's go to our graphing screen. Let's clear this stuff out of here. And I'm just gonna go to the um, default screen or window. And type this in very carefully. So. Graph function. Square root of x to the fourth plus one plus x cubed minus three x. Okay, so we can see something. It, it looks like it's going from positive to negative over here. So let's zoom in on that region so we can get it better. Okay, so let me draw a sketch so I can make it clear on what we're studying. So we're looking at the derivative and C, we want to find what at this point, because it goes from being positive to be negative at this point or at this at this zero. So let's look at let's analyze the zero. And it's about 0 0.3501. And so then our answer will be C, 